Apple confirms the iPhone is getting USB-C. Apple says iPhones will finally get USB-C ports. Apple confirms iPhones will get USB Type-C charging. In order to comply with an EU mandate, Apple is finally ditching the lightning ports on the next generation of iPhones. Apple is going to make a USB-C iPhone. A USB-C iPhone is finally confirmed. This has been met with widespread approval. Obviously, we'll have to comply. We have no choice, as, as we do around the world, to comply to uh, local laws. And it's not even the only upgrade expected to come on the iPhone 15. Today, we're here with the three best rumors about the iPhone 15. Let's get started. Let's check it out. Three, solid state buttons and titanium chassis. Apple is likely to switch to solid-state buttons with haptic feedback for the iPhone 15 Pro models rather than including physical buttons like it does on the iPhone 14 Pro models. This means that when you touch the solid-state button, it will function similarly to a physical button, but no mechanical action takes place. Instead of physically depressing the button, a haptic vibration is employed to simulate the action. As a result, two extra Taptic engines are expected to power the solid-state buttons on the iPhone 15 Pro versions in addition to the single one it already employs on the current version. Very interesting. This is according to Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo. The rumor mill has it that the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max's frame will be made of titanium this year, replacing the stainless steel used in previous models. Titanium is more expensive than stainless steel because of its higher material and labor costs, but it is also lightweight and more robust. It is expected that the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will be lighter than the iPhone 14 Pro. Can they do that? As the former will have a titanium frame instead of a stainless steel one, and the latter will weigh more. That is not the design change expected to come on the iPhone 15. As industry analysts Ming-Chi Kuo and Mark Gurman have reported that the iPhone 15 will have a USB-C port design replacing the lightning ports. We'll talk more about this next, so stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. 2. USB-C One of the most widely circulated theories about the upcoming iPhone 15's design is that Apple will stop including lightning ports in its devices in 2023. To be fair, this isn't completely unexpected, given that the firm has already adopted the connection for its laptops and tablets, and the European Union has mandated that all phones utilize USB-C by 2024. Reports say that Apple has decided to replace the Lightning port with the USB-C port for the upcoming iPhone 15 series. However, Apple is reportedly planning to incorporate a lightning-like authenticator chip inside the USB-C connectors of all iPhone 15 models, as reported by the iPhone leak site Weibo. USB-C connectors' high data transfer rates are an obvious benefit over Apple's lightning connectors. Although all iPhone 15 models will include USB-C, it is anticipated that only the iPhone 15 Pro versions will offer faster data transfers. For data transfers, the iPhone 15 Pro versions will feature USB 3.2 or Thunderbolt 3, allowing for speeds of up to 20 gigabytes per second, or with Thunderbolt, up to 40 gigabytes per second. Transfer rates for the standard iPhone 15 will max out at 480 megabytes per second through USB 2.0. Enhanced data transfer rates will significantly benefit future device-to-device -device transfers made possible by a USB-C to USB-C cable, as well as current methods of transferring images, backups, and other data via wire. The iPhone 15 support for USB-C is significant for iPhone owners regardless of which specific models are affected. We'll keep you posted on any additional developments involving the iPhone 15 models, so hit the subscribe button, okay? To be notified of any new uploads. 1. Periscope Camera Lens Another huge confirmed news about the iPhone 15 models is a periscope camera lens feature, although it may be restricted to only the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So how exactly does the periscope camera lens work? Most periscope lens systems consist of a primary lens that takes the photo and a mirror or prism that reflects the light 90 degrees to a secondary lens that then provides the picture to the image sensor. For greater depth of field, the smartphone's image sensor and secondary lens are mounted transversely, taking up valuable real estate inside the device. The telephoto camera of the iPhone 15 Pro Max will feature the periscope lens system, allowing for 6x optical zoom.
there will likely be a 3x optical zoom on the iPhone 15 Pro, just like the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Apple is probably only including it in their most expensive model due to the required hardware. However, because Samsung, one of Apple's main competitors, has been performing well in this area, it would be wonderful to see Apple go big on this feature. The optical zoom on Samsung cameras can go as high as 10x, and Samsung's digital zoom can reach 100x its original size. Perhaps Apple will introduce a periscope camera lens across all variants in the next generation smartphone. Leave a comment below and let us know which models you expect to see this update for in the near future. It's still early days for iPhone 15 rumors, but these three features already seem promising enough. We're excited at the prospect of other new features coming on the iPhone 15 models. That being said, our next video shows a compilation of all iPhone 15 confirmed leaks, so you can watch that if you're interested. Thanks for watching.